Hello, my Cosmic Healing Tribe, and welcome to Daily Astrology and Tarot Report for October 14th, 2020. So today we have the Moon in Virgo, and the Moon in Virgo, as you know, I love because it is so solution-oriented. Um, the Moon in Virgo is going to support you getting your errands done, taking care of your business matters, paperwork, the details of things, especially as we are now going into this Mercury retrograde energy. We are here now, guys, from November 3rd is the official day that um, Mercury we will go station to go direct. However, it will be in shadow until the 13th. So today is a very good day to practice your patience. All right. Allow yourself to get what you can get done. Allow yourself to remain flexible. Remember that you are developing one of the most important elements of royalty, which is flexibility. Now we do uh, for the rest of the day, the moon is having really good um, meetings and really good support because it is in trying to pack house of Capricorn. So this means that there are going to be issues, right? There's going to be hiccups, but it's also with this sun and Libra going to lead to opportunities to improve your communication skills, improve your ability to find solutions, improve your ability to be flexible and allow yourself to see different options or to let something go if you need to, so that you can be freer in other areas to focus on what is more important to you now, right? It is, or not even more important, that your spirit is just calling you to do. As you are having this deep conversation with your psyche, as you're having and engaging in this new dance of integration with your shadow self, your shadow is going to say to you, listen, you know what? This relationship is actually a manifestation or continuation of another unhealthy habit. And so I need you to adjust it. So, and that's okay. And if you are aligning with people who are more um, healing focused than control focused, it won't be a problem because everybody, if you give love to yourself and to other people, um, then space doesn't really matter as much, does it? Uh, so then we also do have um, the moon in a semi-square to Mercury in retrograde. And so this is where we're getting a subconscious update about what needs to change in our day-to-day -day activities, how we need to allow there to be an alteration or a shift in our engagement so that we can, with that opposition, opposition to Neptune, achieve our dreams. Listen, you are the grand architect of your life. Pick up all the tools of your box. So the card that we have today is oh so appropriate. It is the nine of wands in the reverse. I have so many things in my hands today. <laughs> so when the nine of wands comes up, it is saying to you, hold your ground, right? You have achieved a victory, a victory, a victory. We'll find out why that came out. You've achieved a victory and now there's a, a settling, right? There's a I'm on this boundary, I'm on this line, I'm taking stock of what I have. I have, there has been some wounds, right? There have been some things that hurt or weren't great. There were parts of the strategy that worked out, but I know that I can't continue them. And so as you're in this place of the 901 adjustments, do be mindful to make sure that the walls that you are building or the wall that you are in is not one that is based on trauma, right? Um, and if it is, and it will, because we all have something that is based on trauma somewhere, right? Where you do see that there needs to be that adjustment, where there needs to be that growth, where there needs to be that release to let yourself do it. I love the way this card represents. And also um, when I see this card um, with Sente Marte with the sickle, it also reminds me, listen, listen, people be popping. People always be popping, but spirit is always ready. Um, and as a side note, we do have a sun square Pluto that's going to be exact tomorrow. So throughout the day, you're really going to peep power plays. You're going to peep energy. You're going to peep what's really good. Welcome to Mercury and Scorpio land. Welcome to Scorpio land. Um, one of the superpowers of a Scorpio is that we see things, but we don't always say it. Um, because it's more important to us to know how to heal. Um, and transform the energy than to engage in it. Uh, and that is um, a little Scorpio secret. Sorry, guys. They had to know. I love you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow.